Hello, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and today we are here at the Lucid Store. It's one of the fierce competitors and where are some doors are closing, the other doors are opening. And that's here. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life So we are here with my favorite sales director what I ever had, or I ever, ever got to know This is Doreen And Doreen sold me a little roadster oh, yes. about 10 years ago She sold us a big sedan about 9 years ago and she with had a, a lot of special characteristics. With some very YK special, <laughs> very special characteristics. For a lot of, for some people got really in trouble with, <laughs> right? And we were, but we were very happy. She made us absolutely happy about that. So, so we were very happy about that. And Doreen is now at an exclusive company. It's called Lucid, and uh, I'm glad that I see her here. Thank you. And today. We're going through the whole car. Yes. We're going whatever we can see on the car. We're inside, out. Out, inside outside, technology, uh, and virtual reality, and so on. Yes. So we're going to explain that whole car. Yeah. We have some specialists here to explain that car. And uh, we want to go forward and show you the great car. It is in our color as well. It's in black. <laughs> <laughs> right? Martina already likes it. And uh, uh, it looks amazing. And I think uh, this will be a good movie today. All right. Well, I have to tell you that the two of you, Martina and Rolf, you also made my life by being such an EV enthusiast and, yes. and sharing that your enthusiasm with the world. So it's a real pleasure to host you here today in Arizona. Yes. And and you are not living in Arizona, or you? No, I flew right. in just for you this opening. In. Just for this opening, yes. for this store opening. So the Lucid store in the Scottsdale Fashion Mall is opening today. Yeah. And uh, or actually tomorrow. Tomorrow for the, morning, you for get a sneak public. peek. I got a sneak peek for, because uh, uh, we have a special channel. Yes. What that's what we want to show you, and we are okay. happy to show you. And we're going to show you a lot of pictures around the car, from the car, and so on. So where, we should, where should we start first? What do you think? Let me pull out the team. Yes, okay, good. Let's take a So we have Zach here today, and Jack, Zach, he, he explains everything around the car and what, uh, what is the Lucid all about. Sure, yeah, is that correct? happy to. So Zach, where, where should we start? Uh, well, we should start with the concept of the car. Yes, okay. okay. The, the Lucid yeah. Air is a luxury electric vehicle. Yeah with an idea that technology can drive a better overall product. Yeah. So technology gives you efficiency, it gives you power, but it turns out that also by miniaturizing the technology within the car, we can open up a lot more space. So we have the Lucid Space concept, yeah. which is to create more interior volume, more storage space in a car that's of a size that's not as big as you would think it would be otherwise. And what that does is it gives you more dynamic driving behaviors, yes. it drives more like a sports car, it's more efficient because you have a bigger, a, you know, a smaller car to be driving through the air and, and yeah. driving around. It's better for, for parking, it's better in city situations, but then once you get inside, it's like a long wheelbase luxury car. And, and that's really the, the core concept of the vehicle. Yeah. Okay. So, let's look at stuff. Okay. So, yeah. let's, let's yeah. look around. Yes. So, so we can begin at the front, maybe. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just start begin at, at the beginning. Begin at, the, begin front. at yeah. the front. I guess it's all LED, and there are LED uh, lights. Yeah, so there. they're LED lights, but then it's taking LEDs to another level. So yeah. if, if you look down low, and, and the lights aren't turned on right now, but uh, the headlights use a technology that we've developed in-house that we call a multi-lens array. Yeah. And instead of having one or two large lenses, yeah. we have many hundreds of tiny little lenses, yes. which enables a better focal point on the road. So instead of just distributing the light out on the road, there's many precise 
points of light being focused on the road. Oh, wow. So it gives you better visibility forward. It's less likely to blind oncoming traffic because you're not just dispersing the light through. Yes. And it gives a nice slim design, which looks great, but it also frees up more space to package some of the sensors and uh, other functions that have to be at the front of the vehicle. So yeah, to talk about sensors. Since, since sensors, I yes. You probably do have a radar there, right? That's a uh, uh, long, well actually, yeah, so that's a long range radar, sorry. Yes. And then up here, which you may not have seen, is that's a LIDAR. Yeah, here. Yeah. The laser system. Yes. It works very similarly in concept to a radar, but instead yes. of using sound waves, it's using light. Yes. Uh, beams of light to then detect objects that are, that are coming up. It gives you a, a view of the world just by using uh, light points uh, in space. Yeah. And so you can um, make decisions for safety systems, for example, or for self-driving functions uh, that, are, that are being developed. So there's the long-range uh, radar, the LIDAR, there are... Uh, Sensors around the car, right? Yeah, there are radars uh, on each corner, all four corners of the car also to look for objects. They can see solid objects. Yeah. There are the ultrasonic sensors for lower speed, for parking type situations. Yeah. And then uh, th uh, three for uh, forward facing cameras. All, all, all the way in the videos. top there. Yeah. These are basically these cameras here on the top here, right? These yeah. ones? That's yes. Right. Yeah. And then there's a small camera tucked away under here as well for the uh, surround view monitoring. So again, in a parking situation, it gives you that 3D view of the world around of the you. There are a couple in the, the side mirrors and one in the back as well. Yeah. In yeah. total, there's 32 sensors on this car. Between wow. cameras, radars, lidars, and ultrasonic sensors. And then you have to get all of the input of those sensors and make the right decision yep. out of Fuse that, Fuse right? them together and, and make yeah. decisions on um, yeah. Yeah, how, to, how to operate the vehicle. Good. First question, does yeah. it have a front trunk? Oh yes, great question. It does indeed. Let me open it for you. <laughs> so we're looking at the trunk now, the front trunk. So what that car has. And he's going to open that. I hope he can. Yes. Good. From here. Yeah, so the, the trunk, as you can see, it's, uh, it's very spacious. And there's also a second tier of oh. storage there. That so is nice. You can get suitcases, duffel yeah. bags, extra bags. You can fit quite a lot of uh, uh, luggage and other objects in there. So, yeah, not only is there the trunk, which we can look at as well, but there's yeah. a very spacious trunk. And let's look at the trunk as well. Yeah. Right? So, that's, that I know this type of a design. <laughs> so, and in here is a similar idea, is that correct? Yeah, and you can just Yes, yeah. and there's a back in there, so and it goes pretty much there. down, yes. And then the rear seats also fold flat, so you can get larger objects in as well. Yeah, I see that from here. And the trunk has a different design because it's more like uh, this, uh, Way. It's so not a. Of opening just a portion of the rear. Yeah. The whole rear opens to make yes. loading and unloading and just to make that more usable. And basically, here's a charger in there. There is, yeah. Does it come with a charger? It does, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's standard J7072, probably. It is, yeah. And it's. Uh, what are the charging capabilities? Would you know that ki how much kilowatt you yeah, can yeah, charge yeah. there? So we, um, we're using the combined charging standard or combined charging system, the standard yes. plug for the, yeah. for the vehicle. So yeah, yeah for, the alt for the AC charging, it's the J1772 configuration. It can charge it uh, up to um, nearly 20 kilowatts on the AC charger. Oh, really? And on direct current, we can charge it over 300 kilowatts. Of, of so energy. direct current, 300. But then you have more voltage, right? You have 900 volt package. Yeah, in we that, have right? over 900 volts yeah. uh, that the, the powertrain operates with, and can uh, take that in for charging as well. Yeah. And uh, what that enables is up to 300 miles of charge in about 20 minutes. So when you take your road trip, you can take a quick 300 stop. miles of charge in 20 minutes. So, 
Wow. So yeah, it's uh, it's taking that to a, a new level as well. I, I think the car was over 500 miles in the maximum configuration. Yeah. Of, of, right. Is that correct? Yeah. So in yeah. addition to charging in incredibly quickly, uh, you also need to charge less frequently because you can drive over 500 miles on a charge. Basically, the longevity of that battery package is also longer, is more, because you have more kilowatts and so there are less uh, uh, iterations of Yeah, that. less less charging cycles. Less for charging given cycles, yes. Driving distance, yes. that's right. Yeah. yeah. Here's the pa Can we look at that package here? So what comes with it? Or yeah. Yeah. So this is it here. Oh, that looks good with the lucid letters on it, yeah, right? And, and then with a couple of different adapters. And then a couple of adapters. Basically, that's a J7. That's a 14-50. Yes, right. 1450, exactly. Oh, that's the same idea like the the level two chargers from another company. Are yeah. And, and there's a, probably a 120. A if you want to hang in your yeah, and there's a probably a 120 volt as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You know, just a standard J7072. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, John knows that he has that at home. <laughs> right. So, okay, good, cool. So, how do you close that? Is it automatic closable? Push the button here and then we close that. There you go. Now, okay. Push a little harder. <laughs> yes. And it's probably also from the inside, right? Yeah, there's a button on the inside, and of course, uh, you can use your phone app as well. Your mobile app can do the same. So, what made you to believe that this brushed aluminium is a good design? Because Martina likes it, oh? Martina, do you like that brushed aluminium here? <laughs> yes. Well, that, that's what, how, why we believe it, yeah. <laughs> no, our, 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 <laughs> our design team is, uh, uh, they're absolutely world class. Yeah, and I like, look at this one. I like that Alcantara mm -hmm. and the very nice stitching here as well. And then the, 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 the beige uh, under leather there is, looks really stylish, classic stylish. And there's a really a soft surface here. Yeah. yeah, and it's all tone in tone, the right tone for that. And then uh, probably John has to look at that. There is sure. a display which is all the way across. Yeah, so the, the main yeah. display that's in front of you is the driver. We call that the glass cockpit. And yeah. it has all of the, the primary information you need for, for the driving experience. Yeah. The, the, on either side of the steering wheel, those are both touch screens and can uh, bring up all the functions of the car. You can do the lights and the, the, uh, you know, the wipers. You can uh, adjust the radio, uh, stream music, all of those, uh, yeah. make, a, make a phone call. And then the lower screen is the pilot panel. Oh, and, I like that Alcantara also on the uh, dashboards. Yeah. So there, there's it, been a lot of uh, emphasis put on the design of the vehicle, as, as you can yes. uh, clearly tell. The materials are very important. Our color material finish team has put a lot of thought into this to have the Alcantara. It's a an alpaca wool textile there that's on yes. the door. Yes. The, um, this one the, is the alpaca. The leather is sourced from a, a carbon neutral supplier in Scotland. Uh, you know what? I, I was working for uh, a clothes manufacturer. I did my apprenticeship there, but the very much in the beginning. So I like good fabrics, right? Very good fabrics or good Alcantara. This is when I started with this. This is the first time when Alcantara came out. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh, and the design is really nice. It's really nice. Thank you. And Rolf, we talk a lot about the human experience inside our vehicles. Yeah. And I think from that human experience, we should let Martina okay. experience the front seat and let you <laughs> experience the back the, seat. I will do. Oh, well, Martina, take a seat in the front seat. Oh, my goodness. Then she wants the car. <laughs> oh, there's a room. Look at this room in the back seat. Oh, well, you didn't expect that. You see, there's a lot of room in the back seat. You see that? Mm -hmm. Usually, only you get your feet in between. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah that, you have that. a lot of room here. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this... Um the car is about the size of an E-Class Mercedes. Yes. 
Um, so it's a, more of a mid-size luxury car from the exterior standpoint, but then yeah. now you can see that but from a space standpoint. From a space standpoint, and you know what? It's much bigger. You have also that black Alcantara. Mm -hmm. This is the special black Alcantara we wanted always, and we're the first one had it. And nowadays these cars are being always delivered with a black headliner. Mm. They don't have that beige headliner anymore. Right. So you did it right from the beginning. Oh, when good. You say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so oh, yeah, it's uh, nice, and it's also because of the. How uh, do you like it, Martina? The glass <laughs> of the roof on the car. Yes, uh, I, I saw and, it from the inside. And that's an optional feature. It's not on the base model, but yeah, it uh, it gives a very open, spacious, very comfortable feeling in the back yeah. seat. I don't like riding in the back seat of a car. I get car sick. I'm I'm. I'm big, I get uncomfortable. Yeah. In this car, I'm just relaxed. It just. No, it you are smoothly. really relaxed. It just. It you, you could even use it at, as an executive car, let's yeah. say it like that, because you have yeah. spacious room in the back. Yeah, and I expect yeah. a lot of people are going to do just that. Yeah, so that there's a driver in the front and then the executives are sitting in the back. Yeah, and, and this, yeah. Um, this model, the Grand Touring that, that's in front of you right now, has our big battery. It has yeah. 22 battery modules, and we can go, go yeah. look at, at, at how that works. Now, once once we are here, then let's see that. But there's right? a version where yeah. modules are removed from the back seat area, and it yes. gives you even more vertical foot space. So ah. as an executive vehicle... They're basically example, layers of batteries, Yeah, right? you can remove yeah. that part of the battery and yeah. have even more space in the back if you spend most of your time in the back seat. Yes. Yeah. And that's still a 400-mile range car. Clever. Clever. Clever design. Do you want to learn a bit about the uh, yeah. technology yeah. we have on display here? As well? Yeah. Because we really are a technology company. So yes, we, we build cars. We're an automotive company. Yeah. But technology is the key enabler to everything we're doing. Yeah. So this is a great example of it. When we talk about how do you free up a whole bunch of space in a car that's not otherwise there. Well, you take out the big internal combustion engine, you take out the big transmission, the drive shaft, the big differential, and you put it all in a package like this. So this is the electric motor. Yes. Including the, the, the power electronics. This is the inverter. That's the inverter, basically. Yes, that yeah. converts the direct current in the battery into alternating current to run the, the motor. It looks very compact, I have well, to say. Also within this is the yeah. transmission and the differential. Wow. So everything is packaged tightly into this, and this fits in a piece of carry-on luggage. Yes. So you can take this and put it in a carry-on suitcase, and it fits in there. That produces over 600 horsepower. Wow. So on the Grand Touring we were just looking at, there's yeah. two of these. There's one on the front axle, one on the rear axle. And uh, So you have 1,200 horsepower? You could, you could. Almost. In the Grand Touring we have 800 horsepower. Uh, okay. For our Dream Edition, we've increased that over 1,000 horsepower. Wow. You know, maybe with three motors we can make that even even more. Uh, but just you can see how incredibly compact that is. And that's yes. what, when we saw the frunk earlier, that's one yes. of the reasons that we can create such a big frunk is because this the drive unit takes up such little space. Yes. Good. 74 kilos, 500 kilowatts, 670 horsepower. Wow. 6,000 newton meter. No, I only calculate newton meter. I'm not cal <laughs> I'm not calculating. I'm, I'm the opposite. In foot, it is foot foot pound uh, pound foot force. Uh, yeah. Exactly, you should call it pound foot force. Yeah. So and this is your this is your charger system, right? Yeah. So yeah, you were yeah. asking about the charging earlier. This yeah. is what we call the Wunderbox. Uh, oh, Wunderbox. <laughs> that's your. That's Wunderbar. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you look at the way the car is laid out, yeah. that's the front of the car. That's the rear of the car. There's yeah. a motor in the front, and then the Wunderbox sits just behind the motor. In, yes. In front of the feet of the driver and the front yeah. seat passenger. Yeah. And it, this is a bi-directional charger. So you can use your car as a home uh, charging in yeah, case power Yeah, if the power goes out. out at your house, you can yes. just have your car plugged in and, and run the house off of uh, the, the energy in your and battery. And how much kilowatt could be uh, in, the, in, the, in the battery pack? So when, how much could it could it do? Yeah. Yeah, basically. So uh, from a from a uh, power capability, the 19.2 yeah. kilowatts is both in and, and out. out. 
Yes. And battery storage, uh, we haven't we haven't revealed the final capacity number, but it's something uh, above 100 kilowatt hours. Oh, that's 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 enough. So it's yeah, yeah, it's, 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 enough. it's substantial yes. for, for power in a house or that sort of yeah. thing. And and um, so th this also is a key enabler for us to be able to run the car powertrain at over 900 volts. Because when you look at all the other systems in the car... There are 400 volts. Yeah, wow. and you can't find something that uh, a 900 volt air conditioning compressor. Yes. So the Wunderbox is smart enough to be able to convert that to power other parts of the vehicle. That yes. Otherwise, you'd have to get a, a new component developed to, to work. So this is a key enabler to that higher voltage without going crazy on having to engineer yeah, new, new components. There must be a pretty secret about this one. It is, yeah. We, <laughs> I, I'm talking in generalities, uh, partially because it's super complex, and so I, I'm not uh, yes. deep in it, but also because there is uh, a lot still that can be revealed here that, that uh, I'm sure we'll do You know, I, I like that dual capabilities, the 19 kilowatt. Currently, I have some battery cap capacity system. It does only 25 kilowatt maximum uh, and uh, five of these walls there, mm. right? Uh -huh. So this one does 19 kilowatt just before that because the, how the car is in the garage. Right, 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 right. right. That's, that's well, amazing. It might even, uh, you know, it might in some cases take away the need to have another energy storage system at a location. Yeah. Depending on your, your use case. So you, yes. you could use the, the car instead of getting another energy storage system. Potentially. Yes, yes. And then uh, this is one of the battery modules. This is one of the modules, one right? One of them, yes. Yeah. And you can see the cylindrical cells. Yeah, these are 18650s, right? Uh, these are 2170s. Oh, 2170s. A little bit bigger, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you, you do put, uh, put a, the, the, better, the bigger battery in there. Yeah, and... Uh, and so in each of these modules uh, is placed in the floor of the car in the battery pack. There are yes. 22 modules in, in this car here. 22 modules. That's why you said some of the modules are being taken out to get more room in the, in the, in the front, right? Yeah, and you can see in this image, actually, those yes. modules are removed. Yes. And that would be the version up there. In this version, the modules are still in the, the battery pack, in this yes. section here, where your feet would be in the rear seat. So, in case you want to remove this the, the, uh, the modules, then you have less battery capacity, but you have more foot room. Yeah. And you still have 400 miles. Yes, it's still 400 miles, so it's, well, not, it's not too much of a compromise. It, it's still what the competitor has, let me say, like mm -hmm. that, right? <laughs> so, okay, good. You know, this is amazing, guys. Yeah? Okay, good. Let's go to the next one. Uh, what I saw there was you had a kind of a driving experience or, or not driving or yeah, design a, experience, yeah, it's right? It's a virtual reality experience and it's, it's been created to, uh, to help a customer determine what, what configuration of the car that they might want for themselves and to, yeah. to be able to switch between them. You know, we, we have, uh, we have a, a single car here, so you don't get to see all of the colors and all the, the interior yes. themes. Although we have... You have some of the we, colors here. We have here. speed forms painted with the colors, and we have uh, sample materials. Sample of the, sample materials interior of the interiors, interiors right? Yeah. yeah. So the, the car that we have here has the Tahoe interior, which is the third one. Which is the third one over here. Yes. Where and each interior theme is based on a location in California at a given time of day because the light changes throughout the day yes. and so your perception of the environment changes as well. Yes. So uh, Santa Cruz in the middle of the day, right around noon, yeah. yes. is very bright. Yeah. Tahoe at sunset. The ta that's have, sunset you have trees, mode. You have other things that you see. Santa yeah. Cruz, you have more some, some driftwood and some sand. Yeah. Uh, in Tahoe at sunset, though, it's a darker, a darker experience. And then Mojave, the Mojave Desert, yeah. right around midnight, is very dark. It's not pitch black. Yeah. It's dark. It's gray. Yeah. And so each of these themes was inspired by a location and a time of day. Good materials. You really select the nice. Yeah, that's the car. What you what you see there, right? 
Yeah. yeah. I, I expect this one to be very popular. I think so, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it has a richness to it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's warm, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then here are the colors what you have. Yes. So in the cars, right? Yeah. So, so, so the, the Eureka Gold is an exclusive color for our first uh, Dream Edition, our first special edition car. Yeah. So that's only available on about the first 500 cars that we produce. Basically, it's a special color. A special color. Yeah. And then we have the Stellar White, the Infinite Black, Cosmos Silver. Yeah, very classic. Yeah. yeah. Quantum Gray. Which uh, we talked about warmth with the interior. That's a very warm color. It's very, very yeah. nice. And zenith red, which is uh, uh, a very interesting red color that uh, yeah. changes depending on where the light hits it. And I think it's also going to be very, very popular. Yeah, and then we see also. Do you deliver, or can I purchase a wall charger from yeah. you as well? Yeah. So we've uh, we've also developed a wall um, uh, home charging station, and it is. Also bi-directional capable. Yeah. So that's one of the enablers of uh, having the car oh, power, okay. power the home, and that uh, can charge it up to 19.2 kilowatts. Yes. Um, and it's uh, connected. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> In case the mall, the power goes off, you take the car. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And we have a we have a plug over there too. So basically, how this works is that. Uh, you are going in the car, taking a seat, yeah. putting the glasses on, yeah. right? Uh, the VR glasses on, yeah, and, and then you can, you can uh, experience all of your different kinds of uh, interiors. Yeah, we can do it for you. So let me get Guy. Okay, good. So if you put these over your eyes first and then drop the back around the back of your head, and then we'll just tighten that up. There's a, there's a toggle on the back. No, it's good. That's comfortable? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, Rolf, if you try, look out for the lucid word and get yeah. dead on straight with that. Yeah, I, there. I see that. Yeah. Okay, and we should see a lucid air come right up next yes, to you. Yes, there it is. Here it is. So, if Martina, so if you just hang on there, Rolf, one she, second. She says she's good. Yeah, sure. So, okay. yeah. Okay, perfect. So, if you want to stand back, Rolf, and just get a full view of the side of the vehicle. Yes. So what do you think about this? We've got here the Quantum Grey Grand Touring model. Yes. With the 21 inch aero blade wheels and the Santa Cruz interior. Yeah. When Zach was showing you the paint options and the interiors behind, did you have a preference for any of them? Uh, does it show anything? I see the car here. Yeah, yes. yeah so we, can, we can mix through now the different paint colors so you can see yeah, what they I, look like in different So I, I see the white one now, okay. right? Yes. And then we can go to the black. That's the black one. We've got the Cosmo Silver. Yes. We've got the Quantum Gray. Yes. And finally the Zenith Red. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, you like yeah. that one? But it needs need a little bit different interior. Okay, no problem. We can jump straight onto the interior now. It reminds me on Signature <laughs> Red. <laughs> so, Rolf, yeah. Rolf, we're going to open the door for you and you can uh, get right in. So, if you walk forward, the yes. distances that you're seeing through the goggles reflect the distances to the seat really? in front of you. Yeah. So, a little so bit then further. I'm Grab with your right hand here. Perfect. Yes. And then step on in. Grab the steering wheel. Grab the steering wheel. Here we go. And that white silhouette's going to disappear. Perfect. So if you look to the left, we'll close the doors behind you. Yes. And there we go. You're in. All right. So currently you're in the Santa Cruz interior. Yes. This darker front seat. What's unique with all of the interiors with Lucid? Darker front seats, lighter rears. So if you uh, turn your head over your right shoulder. And into the back seat. Yeah. You can see we've got that lighter. Yes, I see it there in the back. Seat. So that really supports the space mm -hmm. concept. And yeah. It's super loungy, light, and spacious. Okay. And in the front, it's a bit more driver focused with the dark, darker. Trim. Yeah. Good. If, if you look down to the passenger footwell, Roll. We'll jump to a different interior. The passenger foot, yeah, I see it. There we go. So we've just gone to the Tahoe, so it's got that saddle brown color. Yeah. 
and if you look onto the back seat, it's a super unique tram. Yes, very that, uh, well. That's very popular in California. Yes, I believe that. What do you think of that color? That looks like um, yeah, it's a special uh, auto manufacturer <laughs> who, who likes this type of a color as well. Which one's that? Uh, um, Range Rover, there's an yeah, Ray, Mil oh, No, it starts with a B. Oh, Bentley? Bentley, yes. Bentley, that okay. looks like Bentley okay. leather. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to show you the third, so the Mojave interior. So this is the dark grey. Dark grey, yes. With the deep greys as well. Yeah. So that's got the least contrast between the front and the rear seats, but there still is a slight difference. Oh, that's good, yeah. So then what's a super cool piece? You see that screen to your yes. to underneath the dash on the right hand side? Yes, I see you it. Can tuck this away into the dash. Oh the space. So it's a really cool function. It yeah. allows you to expand whatever features you're using on the dashboard out of the navigation, your contacts, wow. your music, and then you can open that up and broaden the selections. So this wow. is acting as a true dashboard and that's the enhanced option. Yes. And it be operated like here or somewhere? Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. so it's touch screen on both of these. Ah, okay. Outside. Yes, okay. So if you look up, you can get a real good view of the, of the canopy roof. So this full glass roof. Yes. That again really supports that space concept, opening up the cabin. And what's yeah. cool in here is we can jump to a different environment. So we're currently in San Francisco Bay, but we can go to the Mojave Desert. Oh yeah. What's cool about this is looking at the paint, it's got, it's a very dynamic, all of our paints are very dynamic, so they look different in different environments. So I'm going to get you out now, Ralph, and we can do that, have a look at the different paints in both yeah. light and dark environments. Good. All right. Close the doors. So you see the, the, the Zenith red here. This is Mojave Desert. Yes, so basically you can display every time, depending from the light situation, how the car looks like. Yes. Right? Yeah. So we can jump now 12 hours forward to the Mojave Desert at midnight. Yeah. And it gives a slightly different visual to the paint now in this different environment, you see. Oh, yeah, really it's becoming different. really dark, purple like yeah. dark. Exactly. Yeah, plum, like plum color. Plum, yeah. yeah. Right? Yes. Really nice. So what we'll just do as well to demonstrate, like you guys got the, the front and um, trunk open, but yes. it's a really cool feature as well on the VR is you can get your head properly inside all of the storage areas to get a good idea. This, let me quickly get us into a lighter environment so you can see this a little bit better. So basically, um, we saw the uh, front as well, but yeah. uh, this is the front and there's a lighting on the front. Yes, yes. Yeah, we saw that and you can perfect. fold that. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, good. So what do you think is this? What, what color selection do we want? Is it going to be the... <laughs> you have to ask my wife for okay. that. <laughs> it has to be black. Okay, black. And the interior has to be the... The Tahoe. The Tahoe. Okay, yeah. easy. Very decisive. <laughs> Simple. There we go. Oh, then there are the seats in the back. There are tower seats in the back. Exactly, exactly. Wow. So there's Martina's selection. What do you think? Good, in good. In fact, and, it, and you need to look at the waves. Too. In in regards to taste, I have to rely on her. <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> Let's have a look. The final thing to select, Rolf, is the wheels. Yeah. So we've currently okay. got the 21 inch aero yes. blades. Yes. Yes. We can jump down to the 20 inch aero lights. I love these, these are a super unique design. Yeah, looking good, yes. And then also the 19 inch, so these ones really optimize the range. Yes, yes. If you're that way inclined. Excellent, yeah. Martina, any preference on the wheels? I think I take the first Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now these are looking good, yeah? That looks yeah. great. Okay. Awesome. There you go. That's the Thank you very much. Can I take that off? Yeah, please do. It was good. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> Did you see that here on the screen then? Yeah. yeah? So.
So yeah, it's. Yeah, now that it's off, it defaults to. Uh, a view. You, you guys are now one one and above to what any other car manufacturer will show, race basically, right? Because you show how the car will be, what could be in different lightings, in different situations with different uh, accessories or with uh, different interior, different exterior, different wheels. You show them how that should be, or yeah. could be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Excellent. Absolutely. Excellent. And people that, um, well, this is what we were seeing, Rolf. Yeah. So we had all of these views. So when you were going in and we were opening the doors, yes. it was all reflected on the screen. Wow. So it gives an awesome idea just of how it's going to look in these different light environments. You can zoom in super far on the. Yeah. And it's got all of those pigments in the high fidelity. Wow. Give you an idea of the materials. Yeah. And you can do similar on the website. It uses the same engine and uh, uh, yeah. online configurator. And yeah. You can zoom in on that as well and see all the details. Yeah. Wow. Some awesome views of it. Look at that. Yeah. That's a great choice, Martina. I like that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> my, uh, my wife saw some pictures of this car. When it was getting loaded in uh, yesterday, and she had the same reaction. She said, "Is that the one we're going to get?" <laughs> <laughs> really? Us, and she said, "Yeah, that one." <laughs> yes. No, you guys, you know, you're doing good. I have to tell you that. So, so uh, merchandise, merchandise uh, there. Merchandise getting started. Yes. This is and, the beginning. Uh, yeah. And uh, I know that you are in the future also thinking about to take the same chassis and. Uh, uh, make a, uh, an SUV style yeah, version of it, Yeah, right? so using, using a similar platform to what Lucid Air yeah. is built on, we're yeah. uh, currently developing what we call Project Gravity, and that yeah. will be our second product. It'll be an SUV. Yeah. Uh, there's a number of other products being planned after that one, uh, but yeah, that's, that's the one we've uh, yeah. revealed and we're working actively on. Yeah, and I know there are also some people there from Germany in the manufacturing and design team, for example, HH. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, Peter uh, Huckelbanger, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, some, yeah, if you, if you are hearing the stories, what, what came around, and also around your CEO, who was a former uh, employee, it came out, then uh, unfortunately, Elon said, you know, he didn't do much good thing, well, not much, and so on. But behind the doors, he actually he asked his uh, vice presidents and, and leaders to get him back mm. because he left. So that is in the new book. Maybe it's true, it's not true. But there's always a piece of that true. Sure. So, and uh, yeah, I, I'm happy that you know we are extending to Lucid here, and uh, Lucid comes in and. Uh, comes crafted high quality materials. Yeah, yeah, right. and, and it, it really is. It's the the German luxury brands is, is yes. what we see as our benchmark. Okay. And uh, and so the materials, the fit and finish, all of that's very important in this in this yeah. class. So yeah. we put a lot of focus into into doing it right. Hey, I I would like to say thank you very much for your introduction, for your great view of, of all of the te technology and so on. And thank you for all my viewers. Subscribe to the channel. There was always interesting stuff to come. And don't forget to ring the bell there. Uh, we're going to talk again. I'm going to visit you again. And so as I said in the beginning, when some doors are closing, other doors are opening again. All right. Hey. I look forward to the next visit. Thank, thank you, Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.